This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by GoToMeeting, online meetings made easy. Get a free trial at GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and enter the promo code TURKS. Jane Kim from the Wall Street Journal wrote this really great investigative piece about how colleges throughout the country are now denying admission to students who need financial aid. So each university, each college has a budget for financial aid and those budgets are starting to run thin, right? And they're not, universities aren't able to provide financial aid to students. So what they're doing is they're accepting students who A, do not apply for financial aid and B, can pay their tuition in full. In fact, some colleges and universities are accepting students that are out of state because with state universities, they can charge a higher tuition for out-of-state students. You know, I got to be honest with you, Anna. I thought that, that they were doing this throughout. Uh, you know, I'm a little surprised that they're either being more honest about it now or are doing it more now. Uh, like, for example, international students uh, that can pay their full way. I mean, I hate to throw JR onto the bus here, but I thought USC took those people without even checking. Well, USC like, is oh, a you different can pay case. The bill. I mean, USC is different. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, reputable institutions. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but seriously, like, I, I, you know, I had the impression that if you could pay the full way, that they were a little bit more inclined to take you uh, right away. Maybe the story is that they're uh, now coming out and saying, no, 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 we're a lot more inclined. We're not a little inclined. If you can pay a full way, yeah, your GPA is lower. It'd be all right. It'd be all right. Yeah, I think that that is what the story is. And look, it doesn't it doesn't surprise me either. It's something that everyone's always kind of suspected, right? But now they're kind of out in the open talking about it. And I think it's a good thing that they're being more honest about it. But the fact that they're honest about it makes me think, okay, shouldn't there be some action? Because in essence, you're discriminating against students who can't pay for college or who can't afford to pay for higher education. That's crazy. That doesn't make any well, sense. Well, you know, you know what it is. It's reverse affirmative action. Mm -hmm. If you're really rich, uh, then you're <laughs> you can get in with lower grades. If you're poor, well, you you know you got to get even better grades than the kids who are already massively advantaged. This is exact opposite of what my proposal for affirmative action is. You know, I don't want to do it based on race. I want to do it on socioeconomic status. Where look, mm -hmm. if you're a poor kid in West Virginia or in the Bronx or wherever. Uh, you know, you have it tougher. In, in some of the inner city schools, you can't even take the books home. We, how, you know, for you to compete with the kids in the rich schools is amazing. And they should get some sort of, you know, benefit of the doubt get, if they get really good grades in those contexts, right? Mm -hmm. But in reality, in the real world, it's the exact opposite. They're like, oh, you're already incredibly privileged and you got lower grades anyway? It's okay as long as you can pay. Right. Oh, poor kid, you did great in those circumstances? Well, you can't pay. Sad day for you. Listen, and the reason why I, I, I like that this story has been published is because, you know, people, like Republicans especially, will say, who cares if you grew up poor, okay? In the United States, you have all the opportunity to pull yourself up and do whatever you want to do with your life. If you want to do something, then you will be able to do it because there are endless opportunities in this country. That is not true, okay? If you are underprivileged, you will remain underprivileged under this system, okay? You can't afford, for co you can't afford college. No education for you. Sorry about that. Now, look, I, I want to be careful here because I, I think that that's a, an overstatement. Like, so can you still make it if you're poor? You can. But what this shows you is you've got to work doubly hard, triply hard. It, it doesn't mean you can't make it. And I don't want you to give up hope. But I, I'm positive you can make it. But at the same time, you see you're behind several different eight balls, right? I mean, you got to overcome your current context. you got to overcome the, the, the lower funding of your schools, whether it means you can't take the books home or whatever it is. And then when you apply to schools, you got to have even better grades than the rich kids to get in. You can still overcome all that stuff, but, God, it shouldn't be that way. It should be that we actually are the land of opportunity, and we give those kids a real fighting chance. So Jake's been in New York. It really sucks because we have to have all of these meetings to pick out what kind of clips that we want for YouTube. And sometimes he's on this weird technology where every single move is like that because it cuts out. But what we started using is GoToMeeting. GoToMeeting is awesome. They have their technology figured out. Awesome audio, great video. We have meetings as if he's in the studio there with us. 
Get a free trial at GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and enter the promo code TURKS.